for sake of time, we gotta move on. Three seven twenty three. Complementary angles. What are complementary angles? Anybody? It's an angle that complements you. Tells you how wonderful you are. Not what a great student. Like easy angle, like like easy angle, like something that's easy. It sounds like a commercial. Like, huh? Okay. Hey, guys, come down to complementary angles. Yeah, especially this generation. All right. Complementary angles are two angles. Yes, that add up to ninety degrees. Complementary angles are two angles that add up to ninety degrees. So what two forty five? Those are complementary angles. Yep. So oh, Alex. this, what do we call this angle? One right. angle. A right angle. A right angle. So this is called a right angle, right? But complementary are two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So we have here angle A and angle B, right? So together, angle A and angle B add up to 90 degrees. So angle A plus angle B is equal to 90 degrees. So angle A plus angle B is equal to 90 degrees. That is what we call complementary angles. Okay, we're good, we're okay. All right, so let's start off with some simple math. So we have here, wow, great 90 degree angle. And you know it's 90 because of that symbol, okay? Square. Or it will tell you that they're 90 degrees. So I have X and 36 degrees. I wanna know what X is equal to. What would you do? Subtract 90 from 36. Yes, you set up an equation. X plus 36 is equal to 90 degrees. Ms. O'Malley, seriously, do I have to do it this way? Yes, yes you do. Why? Because eventually they're gonna end up looking like this, and what? we need to do it. So, equations is your friend. Equation is what you need to do. Yep, so we draw our bars. If it says X plus 36, what's the opposite of plus 36? Minus 36, minus 36. What part of, yes, this is the longer way, but I know what's coming in your future, so you need to set it up this way. Did you not understand? What's coming in my future? I just showed you. The, that? Like the really, no, the other one. It's the like really more confusing. Can you tell me that, Chase? My work. It is. Okay. Oh, I didn't answer your question. Sorry, Juan, I didn't hear what you said. I was answering no, no. Dylan or Aiden's. All right, are we okay? Yeah, part of it's your names are so sound very similar. All right. It's not Brian. I never confuse Brian with Aiden. All right. Oh no! What if it goes the other way? Oh, yeah, All right. Listen, did I use a protractor to draw these? No. No. So you can't use a protractor to measure it out. This is actually, you're going to use algebra to solve these. So 78 degrees and X. On your homework, you're going to have problems like this. I did not use a protractor to draw the angle, so you can't use a protractor to measure. So what's our equation? X plus 78 is equal to... 90. X plus 78 is equal to 90. So then, how do I solve this equation? Minus 78. Put it in the bars. Put it in 70. the bars. Minus 78. Minus 78. 12. X equals 12. Oh. 
x equals 12 degrees. What the? Are we okay? Yep. Okay. Maybe. So now, let's do the next level. Ms. Romelli, is yes. there some problems where we're not given a number? Like x? No, like certain games. So okay, how about you do this? I'm straight. X plus x. I'm not. You do realize that second and third period also learns this, right? What do you know so far? What I what I what have we just learned? We oh, so we know that's ninety divided by half. Yeah. So if I add these two angles, what does it have to equal? So x. I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna break it down. I know some of you get it. I'm gonna break it down though. X plus x is equal to ninety degrees. So what number plus what number has to be the same number? Yes. X plus X. So it's like, let's make it easy for you. 10. I need two numbers that add up to 10 that are the same number. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. Is 5 and 5 the same number? Yes, 5 and 5 are the same number. Do they add up to 10? Yes, same thing here. Instead of 10, we say 90. So what plus what equals 90? Okay, x plus x is really equal to 2x, which that's why we divide by 2. So x equals 45 degrees. So going back to what happens if you don't give us a number, this would be the only way to not give you the number. It would be the same number, 45. My All right, so that's not where I was going, but you know, you took us there. Because I needed to know. <laughs> he wasn't going to be able to sleep. Yep. X plus 17 and 42 degrees. What do you know about this? What did you learn five minutes ago? X plus 17. Yes. These two angles, so this is angle A and this is angle B. What did you learn five minutes ago? You learned that when I add angle A and angle B, it has to equal 90. 90. So you set it up. Even though there's a bunch more stuff on there, you set it up that way. X plus 17 plus 42 all has to equal what? 90. 90. Okay, just because it looks different, you're still going to treat it the same way. This number plus this number all equals 90 degrees. Hence, I needed you to write equations from the beginning. Um, what are you doing? The 17 or the 42? No, no, I get minus 42. Oh, okay, so, uh, no, wait. Oh. Yeah, the 42. Oh. So it's 17. 31. Wait, right. 30. Moon killer. 30. 31. Minus it probably. 31, yeah. Because you have to add the 17 plus 42. 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, 39, all right, so there's two ways to do it, Aiden. There's two ways to do it. Both ways will give you the right answer. There's two ways to do it. One way is to move each of these numbers one at a time, Brian. Move this number, move this number. Um, the second way to do this is to combine these two and then move them. How many of you added these two before you moved them? Okay, how many of you moved it one at a time? All right, you all get the same answer no matter what. So I'm going to add these two. If I add these two, I get 59. Subtract 59, subtract 59. X equals 
31. Easy enough? I hope. Yes. All right. Try this one out. Ooh, I like this one. Stop. Can I say it? Stop. We will call. We were, I have called your parents. I'll call Anthony's as well. I'm sorry. You guys need to stop. Okay, 38 and X minus 22. Write it down. Don't fear the numbers. two ways to do it. There's two ways to do it. You can either put these two together. The thing is, this is a minus 22. This is not a plus 22. Uh, Aiden was saying like a negative 22. You can think about it that way. So there is more room for making a mistake when these two are different, when it's a subtraction and addition. You technically have to subtract these two numbers. When I subtract 38 minus 22, I get 16. So these two together make 16. And it's a positive, so it's a plus 16. Equals 90, so then I subtract 16, subtract 16 on both sides. I have x equals 74. Now, if we do it the other way, which I'm going to do right now, if I cover this up, here is the other way. So. If you see a problem, you're like, oh, I got minus, I got addition, I don't know what to do. Ladies, focus. You take one number at a time. If it says plus 38, you're going to do minus 38, minus 38. That gives me 52 is equal to x minus 22. So then you go, okay, if it says minus 22, you're going to add 22, right? So now it's x equals 74. You still get the same answer. So I don't understand why you're looking at that iPad when you should be focusing on this. There's two different ways of solving it. Sometimes it's easier your brain to process this. This is the easier math. It's longer, but it's easier. This is shorter, but kids will sometimes make a mistake right here. So up to you. Are we good? Yep. All right, next level. So this is a, uh, this is level, hold on. This is level one, right? Simple, X, 36, level one, right? This would be level two, level two, 2.5, 2.5, level three. I fit all of that. Good. Remember, I have to write bigger. 
Two X and forty. Bro, I got this much page. I think I'm chilling. So it's forty. Two X. So this is angle A and angle B. What do we know about angle A and angle B? So when you add them together, what are they supposed to equal? Ninety. This one should actually be easier than the one we just did. What do I move first and how? 40. 40. Then what do I do? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, no, 20 seconds. 25? 25. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so actually, um, yeah. All right, one more. I'm not through with that. It's super easy if you remember what I taught you back in like November when it was equations. Yeah, so yeah. you're still going to be using equations for the rest of your life. You're still going to be drawing bars for the rest That's of your life. Um, what number do I move first? Uh, the 25. The 25. Does it matter which one I move first? Sixty-five. Good, Anthony. What um, Yeah, sixty-five to show. Mm -hmm. Sixty-five times. Wait, times three. Oh, so this is an obtuse. No. It, does that look like an obtuse uh, angle? Uh, oh, <laughs> it's 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 so x is equal to one hundred and ninety-five. Now, is that what the angle measures? No. 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 The angle measures x divided by 3, 195 divided by 3, which is uh, 65. 65. So this angle, this angle, if I were to use a protractor, measures 65 degrees. Is that what x equals? No, no. no. x equals 195. The angle measures 65 degrees. So technically, I could ask you two questions. Like for this one, let's go back to this one. What does the angle measure here? Oh, I get it now. Uh, no. Oh, wait, uh, no. This is uh, uh, 50. 50. 50. 50. The angle measures 50. What does x equal? 25. 25. So there's two questions in this problem. What is x equal? And what is the measure of angle A equal? So if this is A, the measure, oops, the measure of angle A is 50 degrees, what is x equal? 25. So there's two different things going on. X and then the measure of angles. The area? We don't do area with angles. Uh, what's the perimeter of this? 